Congratulations to Kaylin Clark winning Rookie of the Year. Listen, man. If y'all thought y'all was gonna get rid of me that easy, y'all got, man, listen, it ain't gonna be that easy. I told y'all we gonna drop in here and there whenever it's announcements or something. And today, we got a couple announcements for the Fever. Listen, first off, congrats to Kaylin Clark on winning Rookie of the Year. It almost went unanimous. It almost, like, listen, now I gotta get serious. Like, it almost went unanimous. But one hater who couldn't hide the hatred they have for this girl, Kaylin. Decided to give Angel Reese a vote. Now listen, I got a good, I have a good swooping idea of who would swoop the one vote away from Kaylin to give her like a unanimous rookie of the year. It's sad how Angel Reese could be injured and still get a vote disregarding Kaylin smashing any record y'all never thought a rookie could have smashed. Like I'm not even going to lie, this is just like, it's blatant bias prejudice like whatever you want to whatever word you want to think of that is what this situation is right now there is no reason you can show me nothing that tells me oh angel reese should have won the clip of rookie of the year over Kaylin. there's not one thing you could put on my table and tell me that right now so that alone just pissed me off when i realized that she wasn't like she wanted she didn't win it unanimously she won it all press i think right ap rookie of the year unanimously how does she not win Rookie of the Year unanimously? unanimously? Like, it, it, this is something that they're just going to sweep under the rug. It's going to die out really fast. But this is something that should be taken very serious. Because why does this voter have the voting privileges? Like, it has to be. You see how we got GMs? If a coaching is doing bad, and we're going to get to GMs too, by the way. But imagine, like, you see how we got that? There has to be somebody in place looking at the voters. And, and, and like, they got it can't be like that. You can't just have voters doing that. Like, that's just showing that you're not making a, a judgmental. Like, it's not judgmental. Like, you just being biased, and that's not fair. When players literally feeding their families like this, putting in the time to, you know what I'm saying, grind. Like, look at Kalen, leading the league in assists for a whole season, having a career, uh, not all-time assists in a single game. Rookie of the year. You know what I'm saying? Having a high points and assist ratio, like... It's just so much that I could go on with this girl. And the fact that they took away her unanimous, like, you don't even know if that could be something in her contract. Like, you don't know nothing. And the fact that you could literally just put Angel Reese while she's injured, like, not even she's playing injured. Like, forget the stats and everything not even matching up. She's injured a month before the voting. Like, yo, this is, like, like, I know y'all all feel my frustrations. Like, there's no way I'm making it a big deal because this is something that they just literally going to sweep under the rug and they're not going to take it serious. This voter, like, man, listen, she swooped this vote away from her. And yes, like I said, I got a real good swooping idea of who would do something like that. Like, this is crazy, man. But listen, let's move on, right? MVP season is loaded for Kayla. I hope she play with a chip on her shoulder. I hope C22 come and punch everybody in her mouth that's hating on her. Because this is something that they keep trying to do. I keep telling y'all. This is not no little soft white girl y'all dealing with. You know what I'm saying? She can hang with the niggas who. Like, I'm, I don't know how many times I'm going to say it. This girl is not just somebody who you could put over and this is why I love Kayla she's gonna do it with a smile on her face she's gonna this she, she's gonna do it professionally she's not gonna talk about it she's not gonna she's gonna act like she don't see it she's still gonna give everybody they flowers she if you notice she's never said nothing bad about Cheryl Swoops ever never said nothing bad about Cheryl Swoops never did nothing bad all she did was break her records <laughs> all she did was break her record if that's why you mad stay mad you know what I'm saying like 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 listen I'm not I'm not, I'm all for somebody criticizing somebody, but, like, when it's just outright hate, like, listen, first of all, I already said it before, nobody's just going to come and bully Kayla like that. Like, she's not going to allow it, and we damn sure not going to allow it, and I'm damn sure <laughs> ain't going to allow it. Like, nobody's going to come out here and just say outrageous shit and me not checking that shit at the door. Like, you're not going to vote Angel Reese, and, like, that's just, man, listen, let's move on, bro. I could go on all day about that. That pissed me off, though, if you can tell. Like, that was probably a two-minute rant that uh, about that alone. But listen, though, I can't wait for her to stick it to everybody. Like, man, like, she gonna stick it to them, like, F you. <laughs> like, oh, my, I can't wait for next year, man. Listen, Lynn Dunn has been replaced by, by our new general manager and chief operating officer, Amber Cox. Let's get to that. All right. <laughs> listen, man. We have named Amber Cox. This is Indiana Fever page that posted it themselves. We have named Amber Cox as Chief Operating Officer and General Manager. Now, listen, I don't know who this girl is. 
I don't know where she's from. I don't know what she do. But when I've looked into Twitter, I've seen a couple comments that said a bunch of good things about her. And all I can say is, man, she has a good reputation and a good support system. And clearly, her history followed her to Indiana because her, her supporters followed us over here too. So listen, I'm happy to see what Amber Cox can do. They did remove uh, Lynn Dunn's role. They shrunk it. So I'm guessing it was like a respectful sit down. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lynn is now a senior advisor. I don't know what that job title mean but it sounds like a respectful sit your behind down like i know christy size is somewhere shaking like i know she just like oh my god like you know when you and somebody just did something and they get consequences first and you looking over like oh if they got punished for the same thing that that, that mean they know what i did <laughs> so i'm assuming that christy size and lynn dunn was in bed together no not physically obviously for those whose mind is in the gutter i'm talking about they was in the work together about doing a bunch of, like, they was in cahoots with these bad ideas that they were doing together, like, starting Nalissa for the whole season, when she should have been on a bench. It took an elimination game to start Temi, and she splashed a three, a three in Alyssa Thomas's face. Temi could have been doing so much amazing things coming off the, uh, uh, I'm starting. Like, I mean, listen, we could go on and on and on about this. Let's just move on, okay? So listen, right? I'm going to just be honest. She's a senior advisor, and like I said, I don't know what that means, but Chrissy size is nervous. The fans are out for blood, and I know y'all are too. Like, y'all obviously, y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? The fans are out for blood, and I love it, you know what I'm saying? Because something has to be done with sides. She cannot coach this team next year. She's stuck in her ways. Kelsey and Kaylin needs a refresh button for her. I'm going to be honest. Like, they need to be able to, like, just be able to play basketball without having to worry about slowing, the, like, why? That's like giving Barry out, telling Barry Allen to slow down. That's like telling something. Why are you telling Curry to stop shooting? Why are you telling Kaylin Clark to slow down? Why are you like? Why are you feeding it to Aaliyah in a post only? Like it's. Oh, I got so much. Cool. Why is Aaliyah? <laughs> oh my God! Like why is Kelsey inbounding in a final play? Like do y'all not see the pattern? How many games we broke down where we pointed out what Chrissy Siles was doing is just obviously wrong. She's oblivious to the obvious. To the point where we not we know she's not even oblivious no more. We know that this is just Christy Saad's way of saying, listen, either somebody's paying me or I'm hating on Kaylin. Like, it's one or the other. There's no way on God's green earth. Because she's seeing what we're saying. Christy, there's no way you're ducking all of this. You know what I'm saying? The social media is on fire. I'm pretty sure she's heard some words in person from the fans. Like, there's no way. Yo, she know what's going on out here. I, you know what I'm saying? I could definitely agree with that. But listen, man. All I'm going to say is this. Amber Cox, if you fire Christy Saz, and I'm not telling you to fire her. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you do, because that's what the fans is calling for, I'm not opposed to it. You know, listen. Hey, I'm not opposed to it. I'm going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because, oh, my God. Would we still be here in C22? C22. Like, I missed that right there, man. Listen, I missed C22, bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm having withdrawals right now. Like, life ain't really been the same. Like, this is my first year watching WNBA, and I've never watched WNBA until Kaylin Clark came in the league. That's how you know this girl is special, man. Listen, y'all let me know what y'all think, though. You know what I'm saying? And, yes, this is not the last Fever video. You cannot get rid of Venom that easy. Y'all know I love y'all too much for that. You know what I'm saying? NBA is starting, though, so we're going to do mainly NBA content. But whenever something huge comes up, y'all know Venom is on it. You know what I'm saying? Smash that like button. Smash that sub button. We so close to 10K. Can't believe I'm even saying that. But I love y'all with all my heart. One more time. C22. <laughs>